everyone, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Quick and easy way to mail a cup of tea. Stay tuned. So yesterday was my first ever open house and thank you to everyone who came out even though we were having downpours. It rained the whole day but we had so many people to come out and it was really nice getting to meet some of you. Y'all were able to meet some of my family members. We sat around, we chatted, we had fun. So I really do appreciate those of you who braved that nasty weather to come out and spend some time with me and my family on yesterday. And for those of you who might have missed it, maybe I'll do another one in the future. Welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you decided to stop by and welcome to all of my new friends and to all of my new subscribers. Welcome back to all of my longtime friends and longtime subscribers. Thank you all so much for the wonderful way that you support me and my channel. I never get tired of thanking you because seriously, you guys have helped me to become such a success on YouTube. You've helped me to become more confident in being in front of the camera, which is something I never thought I would be doing and you just give me so much positive energy and spirit every day in my comment section. Thank you so much, I really do appreciate it. Well, today we're going to mail a cup of tea and I'll show you how in just a minute, but y'all know what time it is, it's time to make it. Before we get started on the project, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. I completed a whole project thinking that I was recording it and I was not. So I wonder why Loki was giving me this look and now I know why because she knew that I had not hit the record button so here is take two of today's project so this was the first one that I made and because it is make a card Monday y'all we are making it in the form of a card so we're making an envelope and we're making a really simplified card my cards are always going to be simple. Some of you make some of the most gorgeous embellished cards out there and I'm awestruck by them. Mine will always lean towards the clean and simple, but there is absolutely nothing wrong with embellishing your card to the hilt if that's what you like. So when you open my card, I have a little message here that says add zest to your life. Then I've created a pocket and in that pocket we are tucking our cup of tea. So we're able to take this and here in the United States, this is mailable. It might require some additional postage. You'll need to check with your local post office for that, but this is a mailable card. And then here's the second one that I actually thought I was making with you guys and I wasn't. This card is also very simple and it says the good life. Then when you open it, I have my nice little sticker here and I have a pocket for my tea. This is what we're making today and you guys are going to be amazed at how simple it is. So here is what we're going to need to make it. I am using a pack of tea and this tea pack measures two and a half by three. Then I have a three by four cut apart and I have a mat for that three by four cut apart that measures three and a quarter by four and a quarter. Then I have a piece for the inside pocket. This measures three and a quarter by four. Then I have two pieces for the inside of the card and these measure three and three quarters by five. I have my card, which is eight and a half by five and a half. And I have my envelope, which is eight by 10. So we're going to go ahead and score the card and the envelope so that we can get our scoring out of the way. So let's start with the card on the eight and a half inch side, go ahead and score at four and a quarter. Then we're going to take the envelope and we're going to score on the 12 inch side. We will score at four and a quarter and at eight and five eighths. Then we'll rotate it to the eight inch side and let's score at one. Rotate it to the opposite eight inch side and score at one. And so now we can put our scoreboard away. I'm going to go ahead and bring in my card. I'm going to fold that card on the score mark. Then when I open it, we'll bring in the two pieces that measure three and three quarters by five. I am going to add tape to these pieces and then we're going to place them down on the inside and just to make sure that you're placing them down so that they don't hit your score mark like that. 
and then we'll do the second one. And I'll place this one down and when I'm placing it down I'm trying to match it to that first one as best I can. You guys know that when we're hand crafting nothing will be perfect so don't let that frustrate you. Just do your best when you're making these projects and the more that you do them the better you'll become. So now we have this piece down. I am going to go ahead and take the piece that measures three and a quarter by four and we're going to create a pocket. And to create that pocket, all I'm going to do is take this and just bend over this piece the way that I want it. You might want yours to have a little more bend to it, but I'm just bending it a little bit. Then I'm going to take my glue, add my glue to the underbody of that piece, and then we'll fold it over and I'll get it stuck. And now we'll turn it over. We're going to place glue on this long side and along the bottom. And those are the only places that we're going to place the glue. So let's just go ahead and run a bead. And now I can take this piece and I'm just going to put it down like this. You can bring it all the way to the bottom if you want. Completely up to you. And then I'm going to get that stuck and I'm going to let this dry a little bit before I actually tuck in that packet of tea so that it doesn't pull it away from the paper. But while that's drying I'm going to go ahead and find me a nice little piece for this side and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with that piece there and then I'm going to take a sticker and put that sticker, I'm going to lift that up, I'm going to lift that up just a little bit because I want to tuck this sticker underneath. So I am just going to put that right there like that and then we'll put that on top. And now we have plenty of writing space. So now I'm just going to fold it over. We're going to take our cut apart. I'm going to add some tape to the back. I'm going to take this piece and we're going to put it down on this cut apart. And then I'm just going to add some more tape. And then we'll take this piece and we're going to mount it to the center of this piece. And I'm actually looking at it to try to get that nice and straight. And isn't this a nice, simple, but beautiful card? It's very effective in the message and in the presentation. So now I'm going to flip it over to the back. And I think I'm just going to take a little butterfly and place that butterfly on the back. Then here, I want to place something right there that has a little bit of brightness to it. And I think what I'm going to do is take one of my hearts, place that heart there, and then I'm going to see how this would look if I put that there. And I actually like that. So we have the inside of our card done completely. I'm going to take my tea packet and I'm going to flatten it as much as I can so that it doesn't add too much bulk. It's going to add some bulk to the card and you can see that bulk. That's why I said make sure you check with your local post office to see if there's going to be any additional postage required because your envelope won't be flat. It will have a little puff to it. So now we're going to make that envelope. So I am just going to fold and burnish all of my scores. And for those of you who might be new to making envelopes, we are basically going to remove the four corner pieces and we'll keep the middle flaps and that'll be how we connect the envelope together. So if you need to know where we're going to be cutting, go ahead and fold over your piece 
And then wherever you have that score mark, which is right here, this, this intersecting point right here, we're simply going to take our scissors and cut. And that way we'll have this. So again, there's that intersecting point. We're just going to place our scissors on that intersecting point and cut like that. And you do this on all four sides. So now that your piece looks like this, it's the middle flaps that I want to keep. So I'm going to bend those backwards and we're going to remove these corner pieces by simply cutting out and going in at a slight angle as we're cutting down. Same thing over here. Same thing here, same thing here. And then once you've done that, this is what you're going to have. So I am going to take my scissors and I'm going to round my ends. And now I can take my envelope, fold in those side flaps, and the piece that is the widest is the bottom. That's what you bring up. If you happen to glue the smaller side and these are sticking out, that's not a problem. You can look at plenty of envelopes on the market today and they are constructed with this piece showing. This is still going to fold over so you'll have a workable envelope. Don't think that just because you accidentally folded up the wrong end and glued it to the center flap that your envelope is lost because it's not. Um, it really does come down to your personal preference and I prefer to have the longer end touching but either way it's going to get you an envelope. So all I'm doing is adding glue and what I did was I added some glue right there on the center flaps and then I added glue coming up. I'm going to fold up get that stuck and now y'all I have an envelope I should be able to take my card put my card in that envelope have a really good fit but the envelope itself is not flat so again make sure you're checking with your local post office to see if there's any additional postage required so now we have our envelope you can put mailing labels on the front you can even hand write on the front so to close this envelope I'm going to do it just like I did the other two I'm going to take a nice little sticker and we're going to place that sticker on like that. Now that will seal the envelope. If I'm handing this off to someone, this is more than sufficient. If I'm mailing this, I would probably go the extra mile and take some double-sided tape and place that tape down so that I can seal my envelope and not worry about it being opened. So we do have a nice stick here. But for a more permanent stick, go ahead and add some tape or some glue if you happen to be mailing this. So y'all, there is my third beautiful way to mail a cup of tea. I am going to bring in the other two so that you can see just how pretty these are. And now that I have a set of three, these would actually make a great gift. You can make a box and put these in the box and give them as a gift, or you can sell them at your craft fair. Great way to give a quick pick me up. So guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. And if you have, please hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. You guys, as always, please be safe, be kind, be the reason someone smiles today. Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.